This is the reason why there's so much unsafety in many human relationships. What I'm about to share here, I've shared it before, so it's not really something new. But a lot of folks forget it, and I don't mind, I will repeat it when needed. You have this teaching of demons that's called forgive and forget. And because it brings relief in human relationships, we praise it. Because often it is tension, we just want attention to go, we just want relief. And there's nothing wrong with wanting tension to go, with wanting harmony. But there is a danger of having harmony at all costs. Now, I do, do not approve enmity and hostility between people. Absolutely not. Peace should be the norm. Mutual well-being should be the goal. However, this forgive and forget gospel, that's how I'm going to call it, this forgive and forget gospel, first of all, it's not biblical. Secondly, it goes against Christ. Thirdly, it's selfish or best it's narcissistic, who just want relief. They don't really care what the root of the issue is and what their contribution, their responsibility is to the issue, they just want relief. And they push others, often the victims that have been harmed by what is going on, to just forget their pain, forget what they're going through, and just to force healing, to force comply, to make others at ease. So this forgive and forget gospel, it's narcissistic, it's often at the expense of the real victims. And lastly, this forgive and forget gospel, it blinds people from seeing what's really going on. Now, let me explain it with a parable. Let's say you had an autistic kid, okay? And he is now healed from autism, but he had it when he was a small kid. As a kid, it didn't harm anyone, but people were upset at him. He was an easy target to be upset at. And people could always say, well, it's a bit weird. Let's say there was a teacher that, that became upset with this kid and began to rage against this kid. And others saw it and didn't address the teacher. Now, the kid addressed to his parents that the teacher had raged at him. And the parents said, just forget about it. You're overreacting. Now, what's going on here? That teacher is out of line. He or she, not only do they have to apologize, they need to repent, reform their thinking, and make amends for what they've done. They can't change what they've done, that's the past, but they need to make amends in order to in order to set their safety. And here's the thing, those other people who are around should have addressed the teacher at a spot and told him or her, what the heck are you doing, raging at this kid like this? Huh? They should have dealt with that, they didn't do it. So they are cowards that enable there. And the kid is still pointing out that something is wrong, but people don't want to deal with what's wrong, they just want to forgive and forget. So if you begin to blame him, as if he's the one whining. They tell him, don't, don't bring up old stuff. With the Most High, this is not going to happen. The Most High would say, hold on a minute. So you have a kid who's vulnerable, who can't help the issue he has, and you can expect things from the kid, but you don't have the right to treat the kid however you want just because you can do it. And the Most High sees the cowardice of those other adults they didn't address the teacher, and also the powers of the teacher who doesn't want to see his or her own faulty behavior. So the kid now has to repress what has happened. He or she cannot process it because others don't want to deal with it. And now they're going to blame the victim for reminding them of their lack of responsibility. Now, this is maybe to me sort of like an extreme case where such things often happen between adults, between children and adults. People don't want to deal with the root because they don't want to be held responsible. So that's why Satan came this forgive and forget gospel because that enables the relief seekers not facing reality and not facing responsibility. Now look, it's not meant for you to keep mentioning the past and causing strife and conflict in the present. That's not the case either. So I'm not, I'm not promoting that. I'm just saying you have to reflect on the past. You don't look back, you reflect on the past. So you can process the past. And that means that people need to take their responsibility. Okay? But this forgive and forget thing, people are, are saying it so often. Forgive and forget. You don't bring up the past. Listen. The past cannot be changed. Therefore, the past has an impact on the present. That's why you have to process the past correctly. 
What we human beings often do is cut off a manifestation or cut off certain people just to be relieved and for us we've dealt with it, we're done with it. It's our validation of willing what we will. We decide what happens. That's pride. And the most high won't take it. Nobody gets away from their natural responsibilities, from the natural obligation towards the most high and towards the human race. Nobody. Nobody. The reason why this forgive and forget the gospel causes so much harm is because the, the evil is not dealt with. Negative agreements are not dissolved. In fact, negative agreements are covered up. And because negative agreements are covered up, people are now conditioned into thinking it's all right to have negative agreements. So now, other, so, so now minefields are built up. And when tension arises, Luke just wants to leave. So then they're going to look for some victim to put it on. Listen to what I'm saying here. People can expect things from you. You're part of the human community. People can, ex people can expect things from you. So there are natural obligations to, uh, concerning you. And you have natural obligations towards us also. That's right. People can do that. But the expectations must be examined, updated, and evaluated. The moment people begin to expect things from you that can't be justified, that can't be accounted for, it goes too far. And it especially goes too far when you need to walk on eggshells, be careful not to violate some, some expectation that people don't want to talk about. If that's the case, it has gone way too far. That means there's no safety in that environment. There's no safety in the client. Look, it's not intended for you to keep uh, mentioning the past and cause strife in the present. However, people need to be realistic. Everyone must comply with justice. And that means forfeiting expectations that are not in line with justice. You don't have to reconcile with everyone, but you must comply with justice. But in the world, people don't care about justice. You just won't be released, just won't be left alone. That's how people in the world are. And that's why the cycles of violence continue in the world. Christ wants you free from the cycle of violence. That means that there are people you need to be freed from. Because some people don't want to face anything, they don't want to process anything, they just want to be left alone. You, you, and here's the thing, such people, when they are around you and they see that you are operating in the light, they can't stand it because when you operate in the light, you see things as they are and you deal with things from the root. But they don't like dealing with things from the root because they don't want to be held responsible. They don't want to face their narcissism. They don't want to face their negativity. They don't want to be exposed and held accountable. So what they do is they will spread confusion. They will spread a fog around you. They will blur your perception with either accusations or by acting out against you or they will befriend you just to complain and murmur about their problems to you. Now, why are they doing that? Why are they making the efforts to contact you just to complain, complain, complain? Why? They are transferring their happiness onto you. And after they've done transferring happiness, they, they leave. Why? Because they can't stand to operate in clarity. Because once you operate in clarity, you can see their dirt. And when you see their dirt, you can ask them, well, what heck is this? They don't want that to happen because when they need to give an account, they can't give an account. And they're not willing to need to comply with justice either. So then they're in a very uncomfortable situation that they, where they can't win. So they want relief. And this relief implies blurring your perception. Blurring you with problems. That's also persecution. When people only befriend you because they want to transfer their happiness onto you. So that you will not be able to hold them accountable. That's also persecution. Persecution isn't only when people throw you out of your house or fire you from your job just on that. Or when people come with knives and guns after you. Persecution is also when people willfully keep you in a climate or an atmosphere of contention. Either through neglect, to the, that means refuse to take responsibility on your account, or by actively reminding you of past things, 
Again, you should process the past and reflect upon it, but there are people who only mention the past just because they don't want you to see their dirt in the present. That also happens. Now, Christ wants you free from the cycle of violence of the world. That means you must be free from certain people. That's also what you need to learn, because not everyone wants to be responsible, not everyone wants to process things. Some people just want to flee, they just want to run away. Anytime something difficult comes, they never want to be held responsible. They will always dump their waste and happiness somewhere else. So when you operate in the light and you're straight up, they will feel threatened by you. So this whole forgive and forget thing is darkness. You walk in forgiveness towards everyone that's your attitude, but you can't grant amnesty to anyone unless they comply with justice. Because to grant a rebel who persistently goes against Christ amnesty, to grant amnesty to someone that persists in danger means that you're enabling them to do more danger and more harm. And they will. And as narcissistic as they are, they will blame you for it. So forgiveness is your attitude so that you are free from violence. But that doesn't imply amnesty instantly. Well, I've spoken about amnesty and forgiveness before. Watch this video for now. I agree with Christ and be at peace.